Hello everyone, and welcome to Grapple Vision. I'm Vamp, and today I bring everyone some very somber news. 22-year-old rising star of Japanese promotion stardom and leader of Tokyo Cyber Squad Hana Kimura tragically passed away on March 23, 2020. Though the cause of death was not officially released based off of tweets and her last post, it is presumed she took her own life. Stardom released a statement to their English language Twitter, reading the following. Stardom fans, we are very sorry to report that our Hannah Kimura has passed away. Please be respectful and allow some time for things to process, and keep your thoughts and prayers with her family and friends. We appreciate your support during this difficult time. Kimura was a cast member of the Japanese unscripted reality show Terrace House Tokyo 2019-2020, in an episode that aired in March, she and a housemate, Kai Edward Kobayashi, got into an argument over an incident involving her wrestling gear. Upon viewing the episode myself, Kimura had done her laundry and forgotten to take her clothes out of the wash. One of the other housemates had decided to do her laundry, and upon viewing the contents of the dryer, she decided to pull the clothing out in order to fold it as a way to be polite. When she had noticed that the clothing was mixed both men and women's, she noticed Kimura's wrestling gear was in there. She showed the wrestling gear to Kimura, who was very upset over this. The gear in question was her custom-made Wrestle Kingdom 14 gear, and the damage consisted of the colors of the gear rinsing together, shrinking, and destroying the elasticity of the fabric itself. Kai was confronted on this incident, and Kimura was visibly upset knocking his hat off his head, which led to a verbal altercation. She had explained her reasoning for being so upset that this was as important as her life, and when asked if she couldn't just get a new set, she had responded with, this can't be bought at some department store. Now, Kai did show genuine remorse for ruining something so important to her. He apologized repeatedly, and at the end of the episode, there was some sort of resolution with him wanting to put money towards recreating the gear he had destroyed. Despite there being some sort of resolution to the episode, this didn't stop fans of the show from taking to Twitter to use her comments about her gear against her. She ended up receiving daily messages, which led to her becoming very depressed. The wrestling communities blew up with concern when the 22-year-old posted up graphic images onto her Twitter indicating she was self-harming. She put up a text post, when translated from her native Japanese to English read, Nearly 100 frank opinions every day. I couldn't deny they hurt me. Die, you are disgusting, you should disappear. I believed those messages about myself more than they did. Thank you, mother, for the gift of life. My whole life, I wanted to be loved. Thank you to everyone who supported me. I love you all. I'm sorry for being weak. The tweets were deleted, and she left one final post on her social media with the caption, Goodbye. I love you. Have fun and live a long life. I'm sorry. In light of her passing and the circumstances surrounding it, the wrestling and MMA communities, both that knew her and those who'd heard about her, all banded together to take a stand against cyberbullying. From all the times I met you, you were always so happy and just irradiated love to everyone with your smile. Please be okay. I love you, Hannah. When I was in Japan, my second match was against Hannah. I was feeling quite nervous being across the world away from home aged 18, but Hannah made me feel so welcomed. She was such a lovely and caring person. Thank you, Hannah, for putting a smile on my face. I don't know where to put this sad feeling and I can't find words to say. I remember when Hannah was still a little girl. She always came to the venue with her grandmother. My heart breaks hearing the news of Hannah Kimura. Online bullying needs to stop. Remember the story I had with Hannah. That girl was one of a kind. I remember attending a Shinkaiba show in stardom and I hang out backstage. After the show, I was waiting around and watch a video on my phone. For the life of me, I can't remember what I was watching, but Hannah popped her head out and said, Hey Osprey, what you watching? 
She sat next to me and watched the video on my phone for like five minutes and as it finished she said, I don't understand. I laughed and looked at her and said, why did you stay then? She replied, I want to be with Osprey. The girl had no idea what was being said on the video but wanted to keep me company whilst I was on my own. We don't speak the same language, but she cared so much about everyone she met. Treasure the memories that bring a smile to your face. I love you so much, Hannah. You brightened up every day I saw you. Hannah Kimura was 22. Please let that sink in. 22. She had her whole life in front of her. Online bullying should not be part of life, and it damn sure should not be part of death. Hannah Kimura was 22. I posted this back in January. I think it's important to remind everyone cyberbullying is way more serious than people think. Hashtag rest in peace, Hannah Kimura. I didn't personally know her, but my heart aches for her and her family. Haven't been on social media much lately. Seeing this and reading the reason for this tragic early death is 99% of the reason why. The world is so full of hate, I believe in karma and to those that pushed her to the point of breaking, I welcome it to you tenfold. Rest in peace, little one. We are deeply saddened to learn of the passing of Hannah Kimura. Hannah was a beautiful and talented star. Words are powerful. Please be kind. Our thoughts and prayers are with Hannah's family during this time. This is the face of 22-year-old Hannah Kimura. Unfortunately, Hannah took her own life because people felt big and brave behind their keyboards. Wrestlers are human beings. No one should have to suffer through this. My thoughts are with Hannah's friends and family.